Hello, everybody. I'm Levi Litvai from the Department of Political Science at Central European University. And I am here with a very, very special group today. We have uh, Sandrino Smith, uh, Christoph Jacobs, and Andre Zaslo right here on the screen with us. And they have one very cool thing in common. They're going to be the hosts of the biggest MethodsNet event that we're planning so far this summer at Radland University in Nijmegen. Uh, so Sandrino, uh, I heard about this from you first uh, after uh, Derek Beach and Ben Ariu and Kai Wilkinson, we have left his ECPR's Method School project. Uh, you approached uh, Derek Beach about uh, something I understand. Yeah, uh, you wanna you wanna tell me what was going through your mind? What were you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. Um, yeah, I've been working with Derek a long time on methods and actually applying methods to real world uh, 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 processes. So I think what motivated me most was we all pay lip service to the idea that methods are important, but I see very few people acting on acting on that. On the other hand, we have many, many textbooks and they give you very elaborate advice, but all from a very ideal typical approach, which is very hard to turn into practice, I would say. Uh, and so I just came from teaching a course, advanced research methods, giving them a textbook that really doesn't give you enough to actually be able to do that kind of research. So what I know from past events is that you need to be in the room with these people. You need to talk to these people about methods and you need to apply these methods. Good research methods are really tailored to the case or cases. And that's why you need a physical event where you actually talk and meet with people and discuss your methods and apply them to your project. And that's what I hope that this, uh, this event can bring. Yeah, and we're very happy that uh, you actually came up with this idea. Uh, and uh, I know Andre and Christoph, you are both, uh, I mean, we, we go way back, uh, even further than with Sandrino. Uh, been friends for a while uh, you very quickly appeared on the screen on the scene I don't know what the timeline was but uh, but uh, Andre the, what happened or how did this come about wow it was one of the most easiest decisions I've ever made I mean when I I've been a consumer of these um, methods courses for the last eight to eight to ten years and um, and when I heard that um, yeah, the, the three conveners were gonna were, were talking to Sandrino and the chance of bringing, a, a, yeah, like a high quality methods class to Nijmegen. And I was just so, so excited. It was just, um, yeah, it was just a no brainer. So as Sandrino says, I mean, there's nothing like sitting with top instructors for a whole week and you're getting, you know, you're deeping into a new method and, and talking about it over, you know, over a beer in the evening. There's, there's, yeah, it's just, a, it's a great week. And when I thought in Nijmegen, what, what's better than that? And I can verify that uh, this group of people was quite a consumer of methods workshops because I think I had all three of you in my multi-level modeling yeah. classes. Yeah, uh, yeah. Sandrino yeah. only online. I don't yeah. think we ever actually met physically or, or uh, yeah. definitely not more than a few words. Uh, what about Christoph? What, what, what's the story there? <laughs> Yeah, for me, it's, it's very similar indeed. I've been a consumer of method school since 2007, so that's a really, really, really long time. I always enjoyed it, um, and it was brilliant that uh, there was this opportunity to get a method school in Nijmegen, and particularly one that combines these uh, qualitative and quantitative uh, methods, um, mm -hmm. because for me, that's, that's the most interesting. Uh, mm -hmm. I started out as a qualitative scholar, gradually shifted towards more quantitative methods, but always tried to incorporate both uh, and for me, that's the interesting one, right? So um, when you have this method school where both uh, strands of, of methods um, are there or the others as well, um, you also have these meetings with people from the, yeah, the, the other types of methods. And that's really nice to, to talk about these things uh, and exchange ideas rather than sitting in, in your own bubble uh, and, and over-specializing, right? So yeah, for me, it was also brilliant to see that this was a, a, something that was... Um, yeah, maybe coming to Nijmegen, so that was great. Yeah, in fact, in this group, I'm the oddball out because I'm the person who doesn't have a qualitative uh, research background. <laughs> All of you have both qualitative and quantitative. I don't, I don't know if you have, but I know that uh, Sandrino is more more of a qualitative scholar, but he was sitting in my very quant class. So so uh, I, I definitely, I, speak, I can speak for myself that uh, I am very much a, a methodological pluralist. And, uh, and I can tell you our side of the story is... Uh, is uh, 
is after the exit uh, from ECPR, we started talking about, well, maybe we should do something uh, that's very much focused on methods in, uh, in, um, in the social sciences, or maybe a little bit more broadly than political science. That's what we've been doing. So we started a foundation uh, to, to, to start working on this. And, uh, and of course, possibility of training events uh, immediately came up, but there are other things that we are working on. Uh, this, uh, this is the MethodsNet project, and, uh, and uh, it is this project that, uh, that uh, you know, your, your enthusiasm rolled into. So, so um, Sandrino, can you give us a few words about the event? Uh, when is it and, and et cetera? Yeah, so we're very happy that was uh, that was also a very good uh, that we have a very good infrastructure in Nijmegen to be able to host such an event uh, together with the Radboud Summer School and with our faculty that's very committed to doing serious methods in an interdisciplinary approach, uh, not just staying within your own subfield but uh, applying them more broadly. So the last two weeks of June, uh, we have we have the event here in Nijmegen, 20, 20, uh, sorry, 32 courses uh, at the uh, uh, confirmed courses covering a broad range from big data analysis, machine learning, all the way to a more interpretivist approaches, ethnographic research. So really committed to this idea of pluralism instead of staying with your own bubble, as uh, Christoph nicely framed it. So 32 uh, one-week courses with a couple of brush-up courses in, in the afternoon and a couple of horizontal sections. So a really a full program to keep you busy for the entire week and also a very live, uh, lively social program in the evenings uh, with uh, nice and interesting activities, ability to go to the pubs here in Nijmegen and so forth. So uh, you will not be bored. Uh. Yeah, I, I've been to Nijmegen and it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's very, Dutch town that I fully enjoyed there. Uh, so, so, and very much, of course, we were hosted by Andre uh, at the time and took us around to wonderful places. So I very much enjoyed it. I am sure everybody else will be enjoying it as well. Um, you want to say something about the town maybe, Christoph? Yeah, for sure. So the funny thing is that um, it's a very Dutch town, as you say, but it also has probably the most Belgian vibe of any of the Dutch uh, towns. <laughs> and I say that it's because I'm a Belgian. Uh, and um, this particularly pertains to the, uh, the, the, the restaurants and the bars and, and yeah. the student vibe, right? It's, it's, yeah. there's, there's lots of good food uh, and, and drinks and lots of opportunities to just be there and talk to people. Um, it's a very cozy town. Um, yeah. And obviously, it's very Dutch in the sense that you see bicycles everywhere. But yeah. I guess <laughs> people are used to that, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah so it's, it's a really nice city. I've been living here for, what, 12 or 13 years now. Uh, very much enjoy it. It's a very green city and, and uh, it's very well connected. You have uh, three airports uh, nearby. Uh, for people who really want to visit Amsterdam, uh, you, you can go by train. It's a direct connection. Uh, obviously, I wouldn't recommend that. I would just stay in Nijmegen and enjoy Nijmegen. But if you really want to go to these places, it's, it's easy, right? That's the Netherlands is well known for its infrastructure uh, and public transportation. You can go anywhere very quickly and soon. And what do we, Christoph, don't they, don't we boast that we have the most patio space in, 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 in the Netherlands. So exactly. in the summer with, um, with nice weather, I mean, I'm looking forward to a week of, um, of good methods and good food and good company, right? I think it's going to be, yeah, the nice thing about Nijmegen too, which Christoph is, is also saying, is it's it's big enough that it's cosmopolitan, but it's small enough that you'll you'll walk through the town and you'll you'll probably bump into your classmates and instructors at the same time. So it's going to be, it's really, I think, it's the perfect size to to have an event like this. Yeah, yeah, well, it's wonderful. Um, one of the things that that actually that is 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 your credit is that we had very very strong buy-in from the locals uh mm -hmm. and there, there were people bringing great ideas very interesting uh um topics and projects that uh, that uh they would like to teach and teach a course on uh you want to say a few words anybody want to say a few words about the instructor team uh the local team which is an incredibly strong and diverse team Yes, of course, we were also very happy that so many people were enthusiastic, but uh, it shows that we take methods seriously uh, in different departments and different faculties. There are people really committed to developing cutting edge methodology instead of just happening to be the person that teaches a certain course because of historical reasons. So these are people that really are developing their own methods, niche, you could say it. And that's also what they were able to bring to this program. So we have a lot of 
quantitative courses, uh, but also a couple of qualitative uh, courses from all from a rather pluralist approach, uh, being able to bring in bring in their own expertise instead of being uh, uh, the one who has to teach out of a certain uh, textbook. So, in that sense, very happy. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Any any specific courses anyone's looking forward to? I'm personally really looking forward to the machine learning. I mean. Obviously, I have two favorite instructors. One is Levi, and, and the second is, <laughs> is Bruno Castanio de Silva. I took a couple of courses from him last year. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to, 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 yeah, a week of machine learning. Yeah. Very cool. Christoph? Yeah, for me, the causal inference course. So in the past, I took the, the process tra uh, tracing uh, course, which is basically causality from uh, the, the qualitative perspective. And I'm very much looking forward to um, the, the quantitative perspective on uh, causal inference. Yeah, that should be a great course. So when we were putting the program together, one of the courses that kind of jumped out at me as 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 potentially very interesting is uh, Peter Kruen, who is who who's local uh, there, has proposed a course on uh, on like longitudinal data collection. And I understand he authored uh, an app for a cell phone app for these kinds of diary methods and uh, longitudinal data collection, which is, is amazing. I mean, that's a, that's, a, that's, that's a great tool. And he's obviously the, the person who is like neck deep into thinking about how to do this right. And he'll be teaching a course on it. So that, that, one, that one is really exciting for me. So any final yeah. thoughts, anything to add? Yeah, we're, we're just really looking forward, forward to it. Forward. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're yeah, we're Pretty really looking forward to the yeah. event, yeah. 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 Me too as well. All right. Well, that's great. Uh, I hope we'll see everybody who's watching this video and I hope you'll forward it to other people. Uh, and uh, if you want to see more methods videos, uh, well, not just about our events, but in general on methods topics, uh, hit like and subscribe and uh, follow our channel. And we're trying to get to 100 subscribers at this point because that allows us to give the channel a nice name. So we're not there yet, but we only have two videos up today, as of today. So this will be the third one. So thank you very much for watching. Bye, everybody. Thank you.